Hey guys, how is it going? In this tutorial I will show you how to implement one of the coolest design patterns in test automation called page object model. The page object model is a popular design pattern in test automation for enhancing test maintenance and reducing the code duplication. A page object represents an object-oriented class that serves as an interface to a page of your application. It's a solution to manage the locators in the right manner in only one place. If the UI changes, the tests themselves are not affected, only the code within the page object needs to be changed. Let's get started. The purpose is to access the QA practice website and automate the login scenario through page objects. We might see this entire page that includes the side menu bar as a home page, then we got the login page that includes the form field locators as well. To spare some time, I've already created a Cypress project from scratch, just as we learned in the previous tutorials. The first step is to create under Cypress the Elements folder. Followed by the Pages folder right inside the feed. In this Pages folder, we'll sit all the page object classes. In our example, there will be Home page and Login page. Let's start with the home page. Create a home page class. This allows us to import the class in other JavaScript files. The class should contain methods that return web elements. In our case, we should have a method that returns the forms element and another method that returns the login element. Let's do that. All good so far. Let's do the same for the login page, but firstly don't forget to save the file. In the login page, we will need a method that returns the email, another one for the password and another one for the submit button. Let's do that.
save the file and the only thing left is to create a test file under examples. Let's do that. login.spec.js In here, follow the classic approach of using the describe and init methods. And now the trick comes. We will have to create an instance of each of these pages. But before we create the instance, we will have to import each of these page objects into our test file. So we will have to add import home page from examples no elements slash pages slash home page let's do the same for the login page import login page from folder hierarchy elements pages login page create a new instance for each of these pages So these instances will provide us access to the methods that return the web elements. So far, we only visit the website. The next thing is to click on the forms side menu. We already agreed that the forms element sits within the home page. get forms side menu dot click simple as that the next step is to click the login element great now we move to the login page and we want to insert a value into the email field. The same goes for the password field as well. And the final step is to click the login button. Great! Save the file and let's try to execute this scenario. The test passed, so as you can see, it works like a charm. 
So as we discussed, whenever the UI changes in the application, all your tests remain unaffected. The only thing to do is going into that particular page object and update the locator. Simple as that.